Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride to my channel I hope you're all good on this very sunny Saturday it is but I've got to admit there is a little bit of wind that you're probably gonna hear but look how glorious it is it is beautiful beautiful day for doing some boring jobs and I'm bringing you guys along <laughs> I know that we all find it quite satisfying and I'm gonna find it satisfying it's taken me a little while to get going we went out for a meal last night and we were quite late back we had a little bit of a diesel situation basically i am on zero miles literally zero i was driving on zero to try and find a fuel station there is literally no diesel in truro or chivy i am going to try and find somewhere and i think i'm going to have to go fill up a can because i can't i can't afford to drive that anywhere but anyways luckily dad's land rover had half a tank of fuel in it so i pinched that last night we came in swapped over made us like an hour late for our meal but we got there we had a lovely time so it was all fine and obviously i'm driving it around today but i am conscious that i'm like trying to conserve fuel but today is a good job i have got it actually because i need to hitch up the trailer because my trailer is in a desperate need i'm having a spring clean basically today the stables are absolutely grubby as anything i'm going to <laughs> sprite you think sprites is bad Addie's is awful it's not good. It's really not good. And I, to be honest, didn't properly muck out yesterday because I knew I was doing this today. So it's like a double whammy. But I'm going to get on and get that done first. So get the stables completely and utterly mucked out, gutted. Obviously keep any of the good straw. Get some fresh straw down here um, and clean that up. It's also looking quite a bit of a mess in there too. And I'm pretty sure in my tap room is pretty much the same as well. I did do some rug washing this week but yeah just need to have a bit of a tidy up put everything all back in its place and like I say I know that everyone finds it. I feel like this is a bit of a pre-season and I've got camp in a couple of weeks so it'll be nice to sort of get everything all cleaned look at looking at the state of my numbers numbers I need to get them home and wash them it's taken me a little while to actually start and get going like I say this morning so yeah let's crack on and get mucking out I thought to empty it all out I've just put in a little bit of leftover straw that I had just a few sections that were over in the shed and then the wheelbarrow is there ready to go up and get another bale of straw I'm just going to quickly wash out my buckets again ahead of later it is still pretty windy I've had a look at the forecast tomorrow is still looking pretty good weather wise so I think I'm actually going to do my trailer tomorrow instead of today obviously because I'm not quite sure where I can do it that I'm not going to make a, an awful mess basically I could do it with my dad and he's not here at the moment so uh, I will wait for him he'll be around tomorrow morning and he can help me then so. I've also got Tina coming here in about an hour I think it is and we're taking Spritey and Addy out and I believe I'm kind of trying to wrap my brain but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the first time that those two have gone out hacking together so that will be nice like I say it is fairly windy so I think it is the more sensible option of taking Addy out with Sprite and she's done a lot of solo hacks so I think I feel like now is the time she's learned that she does go out hacking on her own but now I think, yeah, we'll take her out with Spritey. So I'm really excited for that. I think, 
yeah, it would be nice to get both girls out together. I did think I would be riding earlier than what I am, so that's why I put them down in the front field this morning. They could have really gone up in 10 acres, but never mind. So yeah, let's go and get the bale of straw. We'll do one room at a time. Let's start with the feed room. <laughs> Tack room, feed room, organised, looking much, much better. Just going to put in some fresh string for the hay net. Sorted. Fresh string, sorted. Water I've done as well, that's gone in. Got my little wash pile to go home with. I'm very lucky that Christopher is out this evening. It's just a bit of a, a girl's night. Just a little girl's night. Me and Nala, isn't it, this evening? I can get away with doing all the washing. And I can get it all dried tomorrow. Whilst I'm here, pressure washing the horse box. Only thing I've got left to do is just obviously spread around straw, do the hay nets. Just wondered what time is it? Do I need to be getting ponies in to get them tacked up? 10 to 3. 10 to 3 on a Saturday afternoon. Not bad at all. Going on a new path today, aren't we, Addy Waddy? And you're leading the way. Oh, we're having a poo. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Like <laughs> but she just went a bit quicker because she felt the softer ground. Oh, wow, <laughs> Being very good. She just had to lead you past one tiny uh, a lawnmower, wasn't it? But not that you reacted like that. Oh, there's a tree up here. Ooh, it's a car. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, that's all you're getting, guys. Sorry, because I like to keep my phone in my pocket. <laughs> Lots of different things to see. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't all they're getting because I whipped mine out. <laughs> a bit bigger. <laughs> Big girls, Brody. We're back to pony club days. <laughs> Sprite's used to this. You're used to being uh, just like pulled around to make some jumps, aren't you, Sprite D? Yeah, <laughs> Thanks to Storm Eunice. I have seen people on Instagram like jumping things, haven't you? from fallen trees and stuff so this was across the whole path. We'll move these out of the way and we're moving back in the way. <laughs> I'll move them back, don't worry. I don't think I'm making a jump though. I wanted to move that one but it's too heavy. Too heavy. I'm not quite sure I've, how I feel about the spikiness of that. No, me neither. Uh, it's not really a jump, is it? No, but... <laughs> da, 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 da. This is it like you're at badminton. filming from me but fabulous jumping from Addy. Hey! That was nice! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh she's a bit more jollier this time she knows what's happening. Home. <laughs> you can jump it down if you like. <laughs> yeah, it is a yeah. good building though. At least you've met, we made one. It's now the following morning, now Sunday morning. My washing, my little wash pile that I had there yesterday, all being washed. Just needs to dry up and I need to get like a 
a brush on that because that's got quite a lot of hay but that can all dry it's still a dry day it is a little bit cloudy it's not quite as beautiful as it was yesterday but gonna quickly i've been here early already and put the ponies out so they're out in the field and then just do the quick muck out of just cleaning out the poo really obviously they had a full muck out as you've seen yesterday so i'm gonna crack on and get that done so that's like i feel like the worst job done first and then it will be hitched up the trailer set up the pressure washer and get washing the trailer the big job <laughs> myself does anybody else when they're pressure washing just get absolutely drenched i don't know why it all just came back into my face a second ago um outside is pretty much done just need to do the front and i need to somehow find out how i can get up on the top because i park it underneath trees over there it makes the roof oh like really bad and i didn't think i was going to be able to get it off but i have managed to on this side so it's all clean that side which is looking much much better um but i need to just repeat that on the other side i've gone down and got some i don't know what it is my mum uses it dairy stuff or something um which is a little bit more powerful than just normal shampoo so i just need to do more of the front because i thought i'd done that but that isn't drying that clean <laughs> um and as you can see probably there on the top of the roof i don't know if you can see it or not but it just needs yeah get that dirty off but i need to get up on there and get a bit closer with the pressure washer but i also need to do the front and then it will be move location and do the inside which is going to be even worse <laughs> move location into the field because there is going to be a lot of muck that comes out of my trailer i feel like i do this every year always around about this time but it just gets to that point where i'm like i just can't deal with it any longer like look at the state of it the sides look at the color of that that should be white it soon will be it soon will be damn the sides there oh the roof everything it is absolutely disgusting disgusting but now we're having this nicer weather i think that we are fingers crossed getting into spring so it'll be easier to keep clean i think we all have well that's why i suppose it's called a spring clean but it's having its desperate annual thorough deep clean so yeah let's i can't look at it anymore um dad's just setting up the pressure washer i'm gonna put around some of the wash stuff get it try and lift it a little bit and then get the pressure washer in there and have my second shower of the day she's all clean and now i don't want to take any horses in it and no hay in it or anything like that i just want it to stay nice and clean but at least it's it's done i was gonna say for the next year now just the aftermath of tidying up buckets to go down didn't bother put my hay net back in there that can go with this one i thought i was really short on hay nets and now i'm real finding them realizing that i've actually got more around than what i thought like i've got something here fail 
ugh, all over me. I feel like I'm drying out. It's still blue sky. It's still lovely. And uh, I'm off to watch Tina now. She's riding in our in the area riding club challenge. So I said that I would go and support her. Oh, is it anybody else like just try and carry <laughs> literally as much as you possibly can in one go so you don't have to make so many trips. I am gonna have to come back and get my cup, but I'm not gonna carry that as well. Yes, now off Tina is riding for Cornwall Trek in the area challenge. I don't really know what the difference is. It's like cross country show jumping up at Cold Rain where we went Friday just to have a like a little play around but she's not actually on until just after five which seems quite late for competing doesn't it but I guess we can't complain that that means that it is actually still going to be light <laughs> okay so I haven't got enough time to ride I've got to leave here in just over an hour to get over to Tina's to head with her to Cold Rain all the stuff is put away from pressure washing I feel like it was such a mammoth task. Probably shouldn't have taken me as long as it did, but it did, never mind, it doesn't matter. It's a good job done. And actually the ponies have done enough work this week that I'm not overly concerned. Addy went on a really quite long hack for her yesterday. And then I'm just walking up the field, because as you'll probably see, Dad has got the hedge trimmer on the back and is currently doing the field with where the ponies are. They're down the field, not bothered the beauty of a 10 acre field and I am coming up to my arena because my hedge in my arena could do with doing being done but I've obviously got all my jumps along there. Now the hippies. Oh he's doing the gorse bush around the mine but obviously whilst I get my jumps out of the way. Right how to do that. I feel like it's a weekend of being productive and getting all the boring jobs that you don't want to get done done. Under the fence. I need to come up here and mow this as well. Jobs taking so much longer than I anticipated. You okay, ponies? Don't worry, don't have to come in yet. Not yet. <laughs> That's all pretty. Hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, I want to say riveting content that I've just filmed for you. A bit of hedge trimming with Dad. <laughs> but he is. I don't know, I feel like he's absolutely hacking up the hedge, but he's taking longer than what I have got time for, so jump in the car, back into Dad's Land Rover, thankfully, because there is still a diesel shortage. Apparently there is nowhere around in Cornwall that has got diesel this weekend. So I will be going to Tina's and then I'll grab a lift with her, save my diesel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just uh, drop this off and get over to Tina and Betsy. Speedy quick turn around and look! We're now at Corrine with Mr. Banksy. Hello, boyo. Are you excited for some jumping? Hey, eh? The course looks good up there. It looks a bit twisty turny. I don't think I would remember. It's funny when you're not actually competing because you're not really paying as much attention as what you would if you were obviously riding it. But I couldn't keep track of where they're going. I'm going to be so out of touch when it gets back to like actual competing. But yes, playing top groom, which I admit I haven't been very good at it so far because I've been busy chatting, seeing everybody for the first time because obviously it's a riding club. So there's lots of our team members up here, lots of familiar smiley faces and whizzy ponies in the uh, warm up. Tina's get, have, I don't know, Tina, ah, oh, she's there. <laughs> Are you talking? Are you having a wee or a I'll get dressed? I'll I'm getting changed now. <laughs> I was like, don't open the door. True. <laughs> Oh no, I could have done that. Anyway, obviously Tina is vlogging. So if you want to see how Tina and Banks get on in the hundred. I haven't vlogged much, mind. 
Well, I'm, I can. I'll put She's one Sony camera down, down and I'll pick up another one. <laughs> so head on over and, and watch wait, that. Rita's on for the first time. Woo! Is that the first time this year? Yeah. Hey. I don't know. I was just saying. I feel really like out of touch with like competing. It feels like such a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and it's starting to rain after it being a glorious day, but I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. Hopefully it's quite a satisfying one. I think it will be. Um, and a little bit, a few different angles of testing out with the drone, which is obviously what I'm the most excited about. But if you have, please do like, comment, and of course hit that all important subscribe button. Until next time, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye! Bye.